This episode of ETC is brought to you by Go90. Get out of here, you filthy casual. Thanks for the shirt. We didn't even uh, get paid for that. Uh, anyways, guys, guess what? Yahoo is buying MLG! <laughs> I did that. Major laser. Okay, now we're gonna be honest. We're, we're truly 100% completely uninformed on this whole late breaking news about Yahoo potentially buying MLG because it came across our feed thanks to users at the last minute and I had to throw it in here because if it's true, it's definitely big news, but by the time this airs, it'll be either be refuted or yeah, it's actually gonna take true. take like three days to edit this. Exactly. So Sources close to MLG who spoke to Breitbart, who will admit is a shaky source for truth and most kinds of journalism, just like us, yeah. are saying that talks of a sale to Yahoo were about 95% complete. Obviously, MLG isn't saying any Anything to confirm, but they're also not denying it. Mm -hmm. Simply saying... Major League Gaming doesn't comment on rumor or speculation. However, if you'd like to discuss Hearthstone deck strategies now that Patron has been nuked, give us a holler! What the hell is... <laughs> What's Patron? It's a Hearthstone thing, don't worry about it. I mean, we can't say one way or another, but usually these things are outright denied if they aren't true, and Yahoo does have a track record of gathering up pretty much every form of internet entertainment and companies and shows around, so this might just be another notch in the bedpost for them, and a way to broaden their audience, who, I mean, at this point, I, I don't really know, like, I, they have Community, and they have AOL, it, it's, Sure, give them M MLG, then they'll have the gamer uh, audience. Big so, old sure. melting pot, just yeah. like America. Woo, yeah. bring in the immigrants, all Anyways, right. Let's talk about other big news. We've been given word that you may now proceed to the Overwatch beta website and finally sign up, you know, like you should have done months ago, but <laughs> yeah. now you have me telling you because yeah. you need me to hold your hand through all of your life. Uh, because guess what, a public beta, a closed, very small beta, but will be available public. to the public, to a small number of testers on October 27th. In addition to that, another game which looks so similar to Overwatch that some of you didn't even know we were showing you footage of it while talking about Overwatch named Battleborn will also be heading to public beta around the same time, just a few days later on October 29th. Yes, here is Overwatch. Or is it Battleborn? No, okay, just kidding, it's definitely Overwatch. Ha, psych, it's still Battleborn, no. idiots! All right, all right, we'll stop. Now, now let's talk about Overwatch, because as far as this room is concerned, that is the one that we're all, damn it, stop, that's Team, that's Team Fortress 2 footage, I know that. These games have nothing to do with oh, Team Fortress. Sure, I love that guy. Yeah. Overwatch is the one we're all most excited for, and despite the fact that this beta will be limited to a smaller pool of people initially, it will become available to a wider audience as it blows up, becomes the most popular competitive arena shooter of the 21st century. And you said I sucked up too much on this. I just want my beta keys. Yeah, I'm it, it'll go on to a wider audience. I, I could imagine that it'll be open up to more people a after BlizzCon. I, you don't think so, I think so. At least for the people that attend BlizzCon, or maybe if you get the uh, yeah, pass if you to go watch there it. and just play it at BlizzCon. No, I think you'll be able to look, be let in. Anyways, there are 18 heroes announced for the game initially, but much like Heroes of the Storm, which was released officially earlier this year, you can expect that number to grow as the game evolves. Uh, you know, because money and stuff. Yeah, spend that money, make yeah. Blizzard richer. Now read the great thing about Blizzard that I wrote. Blizzard shines at making fun games, and this one shouldn't be any exception. They have great creative vision for those characters, and couple that with the fact that you'll definitely be seeing Overwatch characters popping up in Heroes of the Storm, and they might just have another hit on their hands for people who love Team Fortress 2, nope. Chibi, psych, nope. but want to try something at least a little bit different. Amen. So what about Battleborn? I mean, I, I'm sure there's an audience for that too, plus it'll certainly be more console friendly at launch, so that could be good for them, but Blizzard did bring Diablo to console, and Overwatch definitely feels like it would be console ready if they decide to take it there, so... I don't know, Battleborn definitely has an uphill battle if it wants to take some spotlight away from what Blizzard is doing. But speaking of huge betas. Oh, Star Wars Battlefront was officially EA's biggest beta of all time. But that's not too surprising because who wouldn't want to play a free AAA title, especially when it's available on every platform? Just Rick? take it, just take it. It's out there, it's just yeah. waiting for you. The final number was nine million players, which is pretty incredible for a beta. Now having said that, this number means that at any given time, 4.5 million players were probably finding it extremely frustrating because they were put on the side of the rebels. 
Now I know, I know, Ricky pissed everyone off last week by saying it was impossible to complete the objectives if you were on the rebel side, and plenty of video game experts in the comments were very vocal about the fact that it could be done, or the fact that it actually should be difficult for the rebels to win, because that's canon. Have you seen the movie, yeah, Ricky? Yeah. We heard you, we, we heard you. Yes, thank Lord Gaben that we have such incredible gaming stars in our comments section. But remember, this show is totally uninformed, and you should be proud of me anyway because I actually enjoyed playing a video game. There you go. Go to hell. <laughs> We're not here to talk about smart people who play video games. Let's talk about some real dum-dums for a second. People like Dunkus, who obsess so heavily over destiny that they'll do anything to get that next big pile of loot, even if it doesn't really exist. Yeah. Dunkus, you idiot. <laughs> this is the sleeper simulant, and it's supposed to be in destiny, but it's definitely not available at this time and only exists in some promotional material and deep within the game's data files. Regardless of that fact, lots and lots of people, like Dunkus, have been combing the game over with no results. Even entire subreddits have popped up for finding this damn thing. There were theories made, rumors floating around, talk about a quest that had to be triggered, and then this specific quest over here, which no one would have played, would have been the sleeper sim. Like, who cares? I'm not Dunkus, I don't even know what that means. Yeah, as far as anyone can tell, and I'm just reading all of these updates on Polygon because I have no idea, this is a time-locked quest, and recently part of it was unlocked, but there's a lot of stuff you have to do to even get that one, and Bungie's told people at Polygon that even that mission won't be available all the time, so play on, I guess, or don't. Or don't. I don't Go know. on Twitter and wish at Dunkus a happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday, Dunkus. Hey! All right, let's move on, because the other day, uh, you did a whole brand new episode of Social Media Fails right here on ETC. We sure and did. And in that episode, you talked about the fact that Call of Duty faked a terrorist attack on Twitter by changing their profile photo and header to what appeared to be a news outlet and sending out fake tweets about a bombing. Well, now Treyarch has had to publicly apologize for the misguided publicity stunt and said while talking to IGN 10 out of 10, it was absolutely not done for any kind of attention in any way. It was not done. <laughs> wait, wait, what? Why? <laughs> we didn't do this for any reason. Come on, come on, guys. <laughs> the beginning of this apology is the best beginning to an apology ever. Yeah. This made no sense. No. We did it for no reason. It's like a private joke between <laughs> me and my it was family. An inside joke for 2.8 million people. It was okay. Anyways, it on. was not done maliciously or as any kind of scare tactic. I personally am very sorry for anyone who looked at it and got the wrong idea because it genuinely wasn't meant that way. It was done on our channel and it was to talk about the fiction of the world. I think we were as shocked as everybody else when it started blowing up because essentially we were teeing up ready for a story beat. So again, like very sorry for anyone who took it that way. It wasn't meant that way at all. It was supposed to just be getting ready for a campaign element, like you do on Twitter. <laughs> That was amazing. That was amazing. That apology was written as badly as this script, <laughs> like by far. So basically, yeah, they, they realized they messed up. Maybe it wouldn't have been such an issue if they didn't make their entire profile look like a news site for their millions of followers. Or maybe the fact that the game deals with potential real world situations, as well as stuff from the past that actually happened. Now that means they should be a little more careful about marketing a game where soldiers spend five minutes at a time seeing how many other soldiers they can murder. Not that we don't understand that these are games. We love games like this. Grand Theft Auto is a perfect example. It could just be done better. But we'll stop being preachy for a second and let Chibi take a fat, steaming hot dump on Minecraft story mode. Oh, wait, wait, really, really quick. Uh, Rocket League is doing Back to the Future DLC where you can drive the DeLorean in the game, which is the most amazingly perfect integration ever and could only be topped by them adding the cars from Mad Max into the game, oh, too. Oh, Back to the Future. It's a great, you know right now it's, it's the great, day that they traveled in Back to the Future? It's oh, not God, yet, it's, it's, the, it's next the 30th week, Brett. anniversary. Brett, it's Who next... gives a f All right, Minecraft story mode. Do you have access to Mom's credit card? Like, yes. Like Minecraft and are still in elementary school riding a Razor scooter? Yes. Awesome. Minecraft is a game for you. Game of the year. Story mode. Tell this is different should be specific. Those are two different. Tell <laughs> Telltale Games have sold out once again for that sweet, sweet dollar bill, using other developers' intellectual property instead of doing what they actually do best, making their own games. Well, I'm not sure how the conversation started between Microsoft and Telltale. I know how it started. I can hey, probably, whoa, 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 whoa. I can probably money, tell money, you money. how it went down. Hey, Telltale, Hi. make a Minecraft themed story game. Sold already, don't, don't, My, don't, you don't even say anything else, I'm sold. Minecraft is a serious business, yeah, we Telltale. Know. Please respond. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay, okay fine. Yeah. How about we add three? No, four, five, zeros to that check we'll write you. Mm -hmm. That, yeah, it's all, it, 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 would you say no if they were like, Shippy, make a Minecraft game, we can have the license. Yeah. Well, we should be uninformed on this show. I say, forget that. 
If you seriously, if, yeah. if you seriously He's love like, Minecraft, a professional. If you seriously love Minecraft and want a minimal gaming experience with a shallow first chapter, uh, pending a longer series, check out Sellout Mode. Oh, AKA Ooh. Tugs. Yeah. With a proper, without a proper release schedule for future content. Basic button mashing gameplay and no actual important story choices, uh, such as like Until Dawn. I rate this title <laughs> one out of one Steam refunds. Oh. oh! One out of one is technically 10 out of 10. Now, although I think Chevy might be right about this one, we still have to get a second opinion from Dr. Random Gamer Man on the internet. So let's see what people had to say about Minecraft non story mode. This, on Amazon, yes. Great. This one comes from who we can only assume is a concerned mom named Angie C, whose review is titled, Beware of Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> this game is awful. People are buying it for their kids thinking it's harmless. My kids were playing it all the time and talked about it all the time. Then one day, my kid created some portal that went to hell. Really? That's not it. After looking into it, I realized a much darker side of Minecraft. Apparently, there are worlds that you can access that have nudity, sex, and rape. Who knows what else is lurking in this game? Take this game away from your kids. They will get over it. Also, if they are watching Minecraft videos on YouTube, the language is awful. Wow. <laughs> so that's amazing. Wow. That's like poetry all that, to my ears. All that rape in Minecraft yeah. is, is legendary. Yeah. Well, there you have it. Minecraft takes you to hell where you witness the unthinkable. We agree, Angie. Beware of Minecraft. Beware Minecraft. Don't let your kids play Minecraft. No. If you're watching the show and you have kids, uh, she's still right. Don't let, let your kids play you. Minecraft. Do not let them play. Anyways, guys, we have a brand new episode of Weekly Weird News. We have a brand new uh, podcast with Vern Troyer. And also, we went to New York Comic Con, so make sure you check out that video because we had a lot of fun. What's Weekly Weird News when we cover this, this week? Uh, you can sleep in the catacombs. Spooky, scary Spooky, skeletons. Spooky, scary skeletons. Great. Will the show be better next week? No, oh. because it's canceled forever. This, oh. If this isn't proof that the show should not exist, I don't know what is. Tug's days are limited. Yeah. Enjoy them while they last.